Today, let's speak about time investment in Destiny 2 and a lot of player concerns at the moment about the future of gear sunsetting or infusion capping, but also additional issues like respecting pinnacle grind and general tension about the future of the game. The title of the video may sound a little bit dramatic, but actually, it is a question and conversation which I see a lot in the comment section, forums, and even news articles every day right now. There are some heated opinions and, with lots of changes and the possibility of more content being taken away or made somewhat redundant in year 4, I think it is worth highlighting where those concerns are, but also some of the foundational problems with loot for example, which aren't really helping to settle many nerves right now. And I know a lot of you guys wanted me to address this, but I think it is a wider conversation than just sunsetting itself, so we'll get to that. But importantly, be sure to let me know what you guys think, and specifically what your concerns are down in the comment section because there is a pretty wide spectrum of thoughts on the issue. And so sunsetting gear in itself is fairly divisive at the moment, and we should touch on that first. A lot of people say that infusion capping gear, eventually making it redundant in endgame content, is simply wrong and doesn't really respect a player's time whatsoever. But at the same time, there are also a fair amount of people who seem willing to embrace the idea in the hope that it will make earning new loot more meaningful. It is definitely a mixture, but I know that a lot of you guys do feel pretty angry and frustrated at the idea of sunsetting. I'm personally slightly disappointed, but but more concerned, and I'll explain my thoughts on that more in just a moment. But looking at the community, it makes sense that opinions are kind of split, because there are pretty clear merits and downsides to sunsetting specifically. Although, how well it actually works is going to depend heavily on how Bungie handle various items in the sandbox. For example, right now, if half of our god roll weapons, pinnacle stuff like Recluse, top DPS heavies and godrolled PvP weapons or rituals like Revoker. If all of them just went away at the start of Season of the Worthy, we'd just be left with a few reprises from Year 1. Of course, our exotics, but otherwise, reprised Trials weapons and four Seraph weapons. And it's safe to say that would feel pretty bad, and that's part of the concern that players have. Fortunately, it isn't necessarily going to be quite like that. Not everything is suddenly going to become totally irrelevant, not at the same time. Although, I do believe that Seasons 1 to 8 gear will sunset at the same time at the start of Season 12, so that may feel like a pretty big hit in itself. But the other major problem seems to center more around investment, because we're losing or having to re-earn power in the form of top-tier weapons while also for some feeling the weight of having lost stuff which took significant investment in the first place. And yeah, part of it is plain simple attachment. Which is also fine, it is a loot game after all, and we need to feel some level of attachment to gear, otherwise it'd probably be saying some pretty bad things about the gear in the game. But given that the early signs of sunsetting will arrive in Season 11 in a week or so, it has obviously been Bungie's plan for a while, and it seems unlikely that they're really going to change direction. If you want my opinion on sunsetting, I'm definitely disappointed that weapons and armor, which took a long time to earn or upgrade, are no longer going to be relevant in a power setting. And I think for all of us, there are specific items in particular where it feels like a bit of a kick to the stomach. However, I have always agreed that Destiny needs to have new and exciting reasons to actually play the game and stay engaged. But my significant reservation with sunsetting is really about the loot that will have to replace what's going away, right? Most players at this point do seem to agree that loot needs to be broadly more exciting. If sunsetting is going to be a thing, I personally think a full revamp of rewards needs to happen. And we're going to have to have amazing pinnacle grade weapons both in terms of cosmetics and theme, but also the power, right? Unique traits and sandbox potential. All of that stuff is going to be needed to focus us on wanting new gear over old gear. Bungie have said that we're going to get pinnacle improvements to the raid gear, trials, and a seasonal ritual weapon. And just imagine if we load into Season 11, and especially Season 12, and get absolutely tons of exciting, refreshing, and frankly, unexpected loot. You know, when I say that, I do think that Bungie need to surprise us. And you know, if that was to happen, we'd be able to look back and say, maybe it kind of makes sense now. Or at least we wouldn't miss our old stuff as much, because we'd actually feel engaged with new stuff. That's definitely a big part of this conversation, and part of the kind of ecosystem interaction between loot and sunsetting in general. So, how do you guys feel about that? I'd be curious to read your thoughts down below. But in terms of whether Bungie are respecting our time investment, it's a great question for leading us into the conversation, but it's a pretty personal question nonetheless. Your time is your time, and mine is mine, right? We all have slightly different priorities, but the purpose of the question is to really expand on the subject, and part of what we can highlight is that if Bungie are gonna sunset gear, the best way to reward investment beyond that is to create new experiences and rewards which feel worthwhile. You wouldn't go and dig up and renovate your entire house, right, just to make it exactly the same or even worse than before. 
Universally speaking, and definitely in the case of Destiny 2 going into year 4, I think if you're ditching the old, it seems that the new stuff should be much better. Otherwise, we might as well do something else with our time, right? Maybe a little bit of a strange example, but it could be possible to sunset gear and offer valuable investment, but we just don't know the details about that yet, and Bungie have kind of done that thing again where we've heard mostly about the demolition part of it, but not the renovation part where we kind of truly understand why it's worth it. And that isn't an outright attack on the concept of weapon sunsetting, or even the way Bungie have handled it. It's more of an observation and it's clear that a large number of people are probably disappointed because of that. However, a bone that Bungie have thrown is the redacted Engram, and this is going to allow us to focus on specific things. So one of them includes high stat rolled armor, and this could help to mitigate the issue of slowly hunting decent armor rolls. And I guess if the stuff is going away, giving us more opportunities to earn the kind of loot we really need is a way to offset that, right? It doesn't help us with what we've previously invested in, but it at least helps us moving forward. At the same time, another big thing which Bungie should consider strongly in this balance are going to be the upgrade materials required for masterworking gear, and I do agree with many players who say that these may need to be adjusted, giving us more drops or sources to make the process less expensive and less disappointing when that gear eventually does sunset. It could be a real positive, but again, be it weapons, armor, upgrade systems, and tuning, they need to stay exciting, and that's already been a conversation and a bit of a problem, especially inside of the seasonal model, right? We certainly can't have that problem exacerbated by the effect of sunsetting. And we also need activity content, which feels engaging and actually has enough depth to drive the investment. It's a huge loop, and there are many parts of Destiny's ecosystem that need to support the idea of sunsetting if it's really going to work, and we're not kind of seeing the full picture yet. Or at least, I certainly hope we're not seeing the full picture. And so that's a conversation about loot, the investment side of the game, what Bungie are doing, and once again, it appears that Bungie are very much going to launch sunsetting into the game. It's not something we can really change at this point. But we can point out some of the things that really should happen if sunsetting is even going to have a fighting chance. Otherwise, in terms of investment, we do have the seasonal model, and Bungie have outlined that in year four, seasonal content won't go away until the end of the year. Now obviously this is a good move, it's better value in general for all kinds of players playing the game. And there is a bit of a fear of missing out reduction, which I think is positive. Yet, as players have pointed out, we really need to see those activities be interesting enough, but also have loot tables that support the kind of replayability where we'd go back to them months later, if we want those playlists to kind of stay alive. Who knows, maybe it could even spell some positive changes. But there are other instances where Bungie can learn, but also need to be very aware of previous player investment moving forward in a world where content is being taken away, especially when it comes to pinnacle and personal pursuits, right? So we have seen instances where Bungie have adjusted quests and objectives much later on after launch, not forgotten, and the Unbroken title is an example of that. And that example isn't used as an elitist perspective, those changes have probably been largely positive in the end, right? But there are definitely instances where Bungie should avoid situations where really difficult content gets nerfed and folks who work to reach that peak feel like their achievements have been kind of devalued. They're just little things for Bungie to look out for along the way. But other investment things have included instances like players losing stat trackers because of an overhaul for that system. And again, at this point, it's less about nitpicking things that have already happened, but especially rolling into year four, and since we still have most of the stuff that we've worked towards so far in Destiny 2, we need to highlight and fortify that statement that players both want to feel like D2 is more engaging again, but also they want the time investment to be awarded and to stand the test of time wherever possible. Because to say that we aren't getting fun experiences while we have this gear when we earn it and when we use it for the initial few seasons, it wouldn't really be true. There is totally value there, but we are in a new reality where old content and our old stuff is potentially on the chopping board and there will probably be other bits of content which are retuned or taken away even. So at the very least, we should highlight, as the community have, that Bungie have a lot to consider if they want to keep players on board over the next few months. And so those are my thoughts on the situation and the kind of way that I think about it. Obviously, there are issues that players have immediately with sunsetting right now in concept. And I think we've recognized that, but we've also recognized that even with Bungie going ahead with sunsetting, there are a significant number of things that'll be affected by it. And so for it to work, it's going to take a lot of consideration. And as well, making that reminder that we really do want past achievements, rewards, and things like that where possible to continue to be recognized in the game is something for Bungie to be aware of while they finalize what year four is really going to be about and how that kicks off. So be sure to give me your thoughts down below, guys, once again. There are different opinions about it. Not everyone feels the same. So let us know what you think. But if you have enjoyed the video, 
feel free to drop a rating down below. And you can also subscribe if you'd like to be kept up to date with the world of Destiny 2. But otherwise, for today, I do appreciate you watching, and I will catch you very soon.